so now your entire scene is completed and ready for VR and to test it out and see how it works um, in virtual reality. Um, before we do that, because we've made these on the Macs, we need to export this whole thing out um, so we can put it on the VR machines, um, which is a PC. So uh, this is the easiest way to do it. Um, all you're going to do is make sure you click on whatever your title is. Mine's called Landscape. I just do this to make sure that it's going to export everything out. And you're going to go to Assets. You're going to need a thumb drive. Uh, you can borrow one of mine. Uh, otherwise, use your own. Um, you're going to go to Assets, and you're going to go Export Package. Okay. So when you click Export Package, you're going to get this little thing pop up, Exporting Package. And you'll notice that there's tons and tons of boxes. Mine may be more than yours because I've got a lot more assets. Okay. And make sure, I think it's done by default. I haven't seen it otherwise, but uh, you want to make sure include dependencies is checkmarked. Okay. And essentially, I'm going to export everything that's in my scene. So this may take a little while. Okay. Depends on how complex your scene is. Okay. And you see there's those Steam VR scripts all sorts of stuff. So everything, including my library, okay, which is, is good. So that helps organize when I go to import. Um, so here is everything. So I don't really have to click anything. It already should be there. Um, and then you're just going to click uh, export, okay? So export pops up, and it's going to tell you where to put it. Um, pick a thumb drive and title it maybe your name, VR, right? So mine would be Shaper, whoop, if I can spell my name, VR, okay? And you're gonna wanna change it to a thumb drive, okay? I don't have a thumb drive in here, USB drive, but make sure you change it to your thumb drive, okay? And then just hit save, and it should export out. Okay, it may take a little while. I'm going to cancel because I don't want to actually do it right now. Um, it may take a little while. And once you are done there, then you can just let me know. And we will take it over to the PC and import it all into um, the PC, which has the VR. And we should be able to play test it right away and see if everything is working correctly. And you get to um, enjoy your environment and your world that you've created in virtual reality. That's it.